Oh, at least somebody's here. <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out how to get on here on my um, iPad. I did it the last time. So I don't know. I'll get there. I got 15 minutes to play around and figure this out. So hi, Ashley. Hi, Louise. Hi, Donna. Hope, can you guys hear me okay? Hopefully. Oh, good. Good. All right. Oh, hey, I found it. I got to sit through a commercial, apparently. All right. All right. Turn it down. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, salad dressings and um, some seasoning blends as well. I'm gonna slide my, I'm gonna walk around my island and slide my computer back a little bit. So the top of my head's not getting cut off. I'm my own production crew, so hang on. I can't find a happy medium, but I think that works. You're fine. I, I'm five foot, probably three. My, and yes, my counters are intentionally high. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. So we designed the kitchen or I designed the kitchen and uh, I don't have traditional cabinetry in my kitchen. So I, I don't know if you can... See, but back there um, is, you can see the drawers. Um, I have actually have garage storage carts as my, basically my lowers, and they're all on wheels. So this one right here, I can roll it out and I can roll it around. It gives me extra counter space if I need it. Well, in order to accommodate for those carts to roll underneath the island, 
uh, the iron had to be a little bit taller, which is fine. It actually is really good leverage for rolling if you're not like when I roll out a pie crust or biscuits or something like that. Um, so it's a, uh, it is very functional. I did this intentionally so that it would work for me and what I like to do. All right, it is 148, so we still have time. We just got a little bit of chit chat here. If anybody has questions before we get started, that's fine too. Okay. And I'm gonna turn that around like that. So you're not looking at the back of it. The last time that I, when I did a, the live a few weeks ago, I had my computer way far back because I wanted you to see a lot of stuff. And today I can do everything kind of like right in front of me. So this will work out really well. I don't know if you make sure you're giving me thumbs up because that really helps me, helps my channel. Share the link with people. Like if somebody wants to grab the link of this and go over to Facebook and post it in, well, you can't do that. Never mind. Because then I would have to go in and approve it. <laughs> oh, I'm hopeless when it comes to technology. I do the best I can. Let's see. So, and I am doing a giveaway. Oh, Lisa's here. Good. Um, I am. Let me go grab my other thing. Thanks. <laughs> it's a, uh, I, I don't know how, uh, how many people know me or know about me. Um, I actually work a full-time job. So I, um, I teach online for a company called the Institute for Excellence in Writing. Most of my students are homeschool students. I do have some charter school students and uh, I've had students, public school students in the past. I also have students all over the world. So I've had students in Sri Lanka and Germany and Puerto Rico. I just have students from everywhere. So um, I teach three classes. So I, that really only takes three hours a week, but then I have to grade their papers. And then the company that I teach for, I actually also work customer service. So I work a part-time customer service job and then I work the teaching job. So I work three days a week doing that between customer service and teaching. And then two days a week, I watch my granddaughter. So I am pretty much full-time working full-time. So weekends um, are really my only time for fun stuff. And I haven't been able to do as many videos as I used to do, and I'm hoping that my schedule will adjust and maybe, I don't know, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some more um, yeah, so my vinaigrette is um, my vinaigrette is obviously a vinegar-based dressing um, both the other two dressings, the Caesar dressing and the ranch dressing um, have um, mayonnaise in them. Um, there's only a half of a, a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise in the Caesar dressing. And then there's also some fat free yogurt. So it is a little creamy, but it's not like, I don't know. It's honestly, I will tell you, if you like Caesar dressing, this is the best Caesar dressing that I've ever had. It, it, you would never know that it was made with lower fat or fat-free items at all. You, you never would know. It is hands down, I would put this up against any Caesar dressing 
anywhere. I, I think it's amazing. Um, I is my maintenance journey satisfying? Absolutely. I uh, it's a learning process, so I am learning. Um, what I can eat and what I can't eat. I need to be better at exercise. I'm not good at remembering to or finding time for it. We did just yesterday, my husband ordered for us uh, Doheny electric bikes. And uh, those will be here probably in the next couple of weeks. We bought them um, intentionally for, we have an RV and we take that down to Gulf Shores, Alabama twice a year. Um, so that is, they have got tons of like miles and miles of trails that we can bike on. So we're really looking forward to doing that. But we also have a lot of places around here that we can ride. So um, it's something that we can do together. And so I'm looking forward to um, doing that. And they actually told me that if I did a video of the Doheny bikes and garnered some business for them, that I might get some kickbacks in some way, which is pretty cool. So, you know, YouTube has its, has its benefits. Hi, Mary Jo. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Nancy, we need to talk. I haven't talked to you in forever. I was actually just thinking about that this morning. I think I saw you comment on one of my um, posts and I was like, oh man, I miss talking to Nancy every week. We need to schedule a little chit chat. Um, and let's see, I still got like six minutes to kill because I don't want to get started, but I love that there are people in here that makes me thrilled. Um, if you didn't know, um, I this past week I hit 5,000 subscribers yay me i'm really excited about that and uh honestly uh, it, i i'm surprised but i'm i'm also thrilled and i said when i hit 5,000 subscribers i would do um some giveaways and so i am it's probably not going to be this scale because honestly after i wiped it off like three or four times the words on the buttons went away so i might try to find something that's <laughs> actually the words don't disappear on the buttons. Although I really do love this scale to tailor, I believe. And um, I think I got it at Walmart, but, uh, but I, I have in the RV, I have an OXO uh, that I've, I've had it for years and it still is in great condition. Um, it just doesn't have a wide enough platform for me to put like a dinner plate on. So I like the bigger ones. I also like this one because I can put things that weigh more than three pounds on it and it won't throw an error. So whatever I give away will be something that is similar to this where it's got a wide enough platform for a, um, a dinner plate and it will allow you to put larger amounts because if I make like a soup, I wanna be able to weigh the whole soup and then divide those into smaller servings. So, um, hi, Carla. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Yvette. You are not late. You are early. So we're not actually starting for another four minutes. So we're good. The other thing I'm going to give away is a um, digital body scale. This also came from Amazon. My, this brand is Vaunt. It's exactly like the Renfo. It's just um, a different brand. And I've had this for several years and probably three or four years and it works fantastically it has an app that goes to my phone um so i i so these are the two things that i'm going to be giving away and what i'm going to do um because i think the easiest way for me to do it um no i have not seen that that's interesting. I'll have to look into that. Um, I, what I'm going to do is I want to give, there are a lot of people who are interested in this video, but they can't be at, they can't be here live. And I realize I'm doing this in the middle of the afternoon on a Saturday. People are out doing things, family things, whatever. So because I want to honor all of my subscribers and people who have 
helped me to get where I am right now. And by the way, I think I make like $50 a month on, on YouTube. So it's not like I'm making a lot of money, but, um, but having subscribers and, and that does anytime you like my videos, share my videos, comment on my videos, watch the whole video. Um, that just helps me to make a little more money. And I like to be able to give back because I don't do this to make money. And so uh, as a way of giving back, I'm doing the giveaways. Um, and so I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway, 5,000 subscribers, so thrilled. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask everybody to once, once this is over, the video will actually post. And if you will go in and comment on the recorded video, so don't do it here live because these comments all go away. Um, you will need to go into the recorded video and just comment with your first name, last initial, and the state that you're from. And in 24 hours, I will put everybody who comments on the recorded video, all of their names will go into a random picker and I will pick somebody for the scale and you know, somebody for the body scale and somebody for the food scale. Um, and that, so that's what I'm going to do. I want to be able to give an opportunity to everybody else. So if you're watching the recorded video, then you have until 2 p.m. on Sunday, February 4th, 2024, to comment with your first name, last initial, and the state that you're from. And um, I will do that for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Howdy from Texas, Andrew. Yeehaw. And Lynn, welcome. I'm really thrilled at all, all of the people that are that are coming in. 23, that's exciting. I, we don't get 23 in our Zoom chats. So that's really exciting. Um, I've got one minute before I get started. So hopefully I get everything together. I got my notes here, got my recipe cards, got all of my ingredients, almost all my ingredients. I didn't want to take the mayonnaise and the yogurt out too soon. Now everything's out. All right. It is 2 o'clock and I am all for starting on time. Because you know me. I just do everything by the book. So we're going we're gonna to start on time. And um, I wanted to just give you just a really quick background. My name is Elizabeth. I live outside of Nashville, Tennessee. But I grew up in New Hampshire. So I am a Yankee living in the South. And um, I have been overweight all of my life, been on a diet since I was 12 years old, and could never quite get to what I was told was a healthy weight. And so my weight would go up and down, up and down. Uh, you can find out more about my actual journey on Optivate if you want to check out my reality check videos on YouTube, that's a great way to see how I did it. But I started on 5 and 1 in June of 2022. And until uh, September 25th of 2023 is when I started transition. So I lost 157 pounds, no, 153 pounds, sorry, 153 pounds. And since transition, starting transition and maintenance, I've dropped another about six to seven pounds, it depends on the day, uh, but I am trying really hard to stay at least five pounds below my uh, weight loss goal. Um, welcome, Louise. Got two Louises. Actually, I think we got three Louises in here. And Heidi, welcome, Heidi. Um, sorry if I look away every once in a while because my iPad's over here. I can't see all the way to my computer, which is way over there. Um, anyway, so I lost a hundred and I lost basically 160 pounds. And just a little reminder for those of you who are coming in, I am doing a giveaway giveaway. I am allowing 24 hours uh, so that the process is you will go to the recorded video once we have finished here and you will comment with your first name, last initial and your state. 
And in 24 hours, I will put everybody into a random name picker and I will draw two winners. Uh, one person is going to win a digital food scale and one person is going to win a digital body scale. So that's what I'm going to be giving away. Um, for one of my first questions to my coach when I started Optivia was, uh, can I make my own sauces? Can I make my own dressings? And I think she thought I was a little crazy. I don't think she understood what I actually meant. Uh, but for me, uh, this has always been a habit. I don't buy uh, pre-made things. Uh, my kids never had like uh, packaged frozen dinner kind of things. I just never did that. I grew up in a house where my mom made everything from scratch. And so that is a habit that is really important to me. Um, I, so that's where these ideas actually came from the born out of a desire to make the foods myself and not buy foods that were, um, that are processed part of the Optivia program and as any weight loss program. So really it doesn't matter if it's Optivia or not part of losing weight and maintaining weight is creating habits. If you want to have permanent change, you have to make new habits that are permanent new habits. You can't go back to what you were doing before uh, if you want the weight to stay off. So a uh, couple of things, pieces of advice that I want to give you before I jump in here is, first of all, don't try to change everything at once. When you are looking at your lifestyle and you realize all of these bad habits that I have, how can I change all these habits? If you try to change everything all at once, you are likely to give up and, and you're likely to struggle. So choose one habit to change. Focus on that for a week or two weeks and get that kind of going before you start to change another habit. Habits have to be simple enough for you to feel that you can continue doing them and for them to become just a natural part of your life. If they're too complicated, if you perceive them as being too complicated, then you will not create that habit. I would also encourage you to set aside time uh, once a week for meal prep or ingredient prep. So for me, Saturday, sometimes Sunday afternoons is a time where I will prep ingredients for the week or I will prep meals for the week. Um, in an hour today, I am going to replenish all of my salad dressings that will last me for several weeks and all of my seasoning mixes, which will last me probably for a couple of months. Uh, next week, I'll do something different, like I will make cauliflower pizza crust or I will bake some healthy, uh, since I'm in maintenance, I will bake something healthy that I can use for um, a nighttime fueling. I uh, actually recently found a great healthy recipe for morning glory muffins, which if they're good, I will record that one. Um, but just find a new habit and get into the habit of building a new habit every couple of weeks. Um, hi, welcome everybody. Wow, lots of people popping in. Heidi and Karen and Sue and Heather and Lisa, I've already seen Carla has already jumped in there. Um, Yvette has commented before. Yeah, not, not until the, um, yeah, not in, thanks Yvette for the reminder. Your name and your location will have to be commented on the recorded video once we are done here. All right. Um, so I want to just really quickly show you, uh, I, I have this really handy dandy way of showing you what does a lean and green meal look like? All right, so hopefully you can see this. If you are choosing from the lean category, that is where you're going to get five ounces. The lean proteins, I'm going to grab my guide right here. Options for lean proteins are uh, salmon, bluefin steak, tuna, farmed catfish, mackerel, herring, steak, roast, ground beef, all lean ground beef, lamb, uh, 85 to 94% ground turkey or other meat. Uh, chicken or turkey dark meat, and then there are meatless options in there as well. But five ounces of this and no healthy fat, all right? And then you get three greens, right? So this is, this is what a lot of people will do. That's the lean. 
If you go to the leanest category, look at how crafty I am. If you go to the leanest, the, the leaner category, you get six ounces. That's swordfish, trout, halibut, white meat, chicken without the skin, 95 to 97% ground turkey or other meat, uh, pork chops or pork tenderloin, and then some meatless options. Six ounces plus a healthy fat. Healthy fats are not optional. They are required. So if your lean comes from the leanest, the leaner category, you must add in a healthy fat. And I'll talk about healthy fats in just a minute. All right. And then if you choose from the leanest category, that is seven ounces. That is a lot of fish options, cod, flounder, haddock, orange, roughy, grouper, tilapia, mahi-mahi, tuna, uh, wild catfish, shellfish, game meats, uh, ground turkey, 98% or leaner, light meat, whole turkey, and then some meatless options. And if you're choosing from that, you get seven ounces. That's a lot, even though my little section has gotten smaller, it's actually more meat. But then you have to eat two healthy fats with that. So on days where you're really hungry, do the leanest and because you get two healthy fats. It's going to help to fill you up on days where you feel like, Oh my gosh, I just can't eat anymore. Go for something that's leaner and they are or lean. And then you don't have to add the healthy fats and you get a smaller portion of lean. So um, that hopefully will help you to understand that actual breakdown. So I promised that I would do that. Um, so condiments and healthy fats, first of all, make sure that you have the Optivia guide that has the condiments and healthy fats written out in the guide. If your guide is older, it doesn't have these pages in there. So you can get a new guide. They're like three bucks. You can add that to your next order. Um, or you can go to, there'll be a link to the PDF of the new guide. Uh, you can actually just Google Optivia guide and it will be the first thing that comes up in a Google search. Um, you can also Google vegetable conversion chart and it'll be the first thing that shows up. You can, you can Google opt to be a condiment list and you can see the whole list and just, just the condiment list. Um, but I would strongly encourage you have the guide that has everything in it already so that you're not having to go back and forth. Also know that the guide is in the Optivia app. So if you go to your account and you go to program guides, you can see the Optivia guide, you can see the transition guide, you can see the three and three guide, you can see the vegetable conversion chart. You can, like all of the documents that Optivia publishes are available to you in the Optivia app. So make sure that you are utilizing that, um, but utilizing this guide. Now, as far as condiments and healthy fats go, um, a condiment, what is a condiment? A condiment is something that you add to your lean and green meal. You're supposed to add to your lean and green meal. I know some people add it to their fuelings, but if you read the guide, it does actually say add to your lean and green meal to add flavor. Uh, you can have three. Those are optional. You cannot have more than three. You can have three in a day, not three per meal, not three per hour, but three per day. It's not a lot. And it is a way of helping you to control your carbohydrates. A condiment should not have any more than 30 calories, and it should not have any more than one gram of carbohydrates. So read the nutrition label. Know how to look at a nutrition label, look at the serving size, look at the number of carbohydrates, and you know if you can have that as a condiment. So when you go to look for a sugar, a sugar-free ketchup, for example. A really good example would be, uh, go look at G. Hughes, um, the G. Hughes dressings, because not all of them can count as a condiment because some of them have too many carbohydrates, like their yum yum sauce, for one thing. Uh, so please make sure that you look at those nutrition labels, learn how to read labels. That is a great healthy habit to be instilling as you go through life. So condiments, one gram of carbs, 30 calories. All of the, uh, all of the 
seasoning mixes that we're going to do today all fall into a condiment category because you, as it says in the condiment guide, a uh, spice mixes or seasoning mixes, what's the word that they say? A spice mixes, you can have a half of a teaspoon. So half a teaspoon of any of the mixes that we do today will count as a condiment. Healthy fats are the ones that are required and the, and the restrictions for healthy fats are, it has to have at least 45 calories and no more than 60. So it's not, if you've got something that's only got 20 calories in it, it's not gonna work as a healthy fat. It has to at least have 45, no more than 60. And those four, those numbers four, five, and six are gonna come in really handy because if you can remember four, five, six, four point, uh, 45 to six, for your fat level, it has to have at least 4.5 grams of fat and no more than six grams of fat. So if it has less than 4.5 grams of fat, it's not a healthy fat, which is why like Walden Farms dressings don't get to count as healthy fats because there's no fat in them, right? So it has to have at least four and a half grams of fat, no more than six. Five is really ideal, but that's those are kind of the parameters. And then no more than five grams of carbs. So there's that five again, right in the middle, that those numbers four, five, and six, super important, all right? Um, so hopefully that will help you to remember as far as healthy fats and condiments. Let me, before I go any farther, let me just do another really quick plug. Please give this video a thumbs up. That really does help me, it helps my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do live events. I do recorded things. And anything that I do live is always recorded. Um, it helps me. It helps my channel. So thumbs up. Love it. Also, I am giving away a food scale today, well, in 24 hours, and a body scale. So this is to thank all of my subscribers since I reached 5,000 subscribers this week. I want to give back a little bit, so I'm giving these away. In order to get into the giveaway, you are going to need to wait until after we're done and the recording posts, and then go to the recording and comment on the recording and give it a little thumbs up while you're there. Um, comment on the recording, your first name, last initial, You know, so you don't have to give me all of that information, um, and where you are from. Uh, the state that you are from. And then what I will do, you will have to come back again in 24 hours to check and see because I will post on there who the winners are and you will have to email me. So you, my email address is in the description box below the video um, and or you can reach out to me on Facebook Messenger and get me your information and I will send you your gift. All right, so without further ado, let me put these away for a moment. And let's make some salad dressings. The first dressing I am going to make is a vinaigrette dressing. Uh, the recipes, of course, will be in the description box. Actually, they already are there. So if you, I don't know if you can actually see the description box now, but it's actually right there. Um, it is going to be four tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And right. we're okay, we're okay. Two teaspoons of Dijon. I could have measured all these things out ahead of time, but you know. What would the fun in that be? Uh, three tablespoons of olive oil. And this dressing, by the way, two tablespoons of this dressing will equal a healthy fat. And one tablespoon of this dressing will equal a condiment. So if you... If you want three tablespoons, you could count that as a healthy fat and a condiment. If you uh, want to do that, um, you can do that. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I squeezed these lemons this morning. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. That I did already have prepared. 
and then a teaspoon of black pepper. Try to keep these for dry things and those other ones for wet things. And a half of a teaspoon of salt, and I'm using kosher salt. Oops, almost dumped it in the pepper. I'm going to use tarragon in, uh, in my recipe, but if you want to uh, use a different, if you like a different herb instead, just a teaspoon, uh, two, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of whatever herb you like. I, I just happen to really love the taste of tarragon. And then two tablespoons of water. And then just put a lid on the jar. You can use a whisk, but honestly, if you shake it a little bit, that um, mustard will break down and everything will emulsify together. Whisk it if you want, blend it if you want, but I just shake it and I'm, I'm gonna allow this to sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour. And of course I'm gonna keep it in the fridge and then just give it a good shake before you use it. But that's how easy it is to make a vinaigrette dressing. Fresh herbs, dried herbs, it doesn't really make a difference. All right, the next one is my ranch dressing, which is a phenomenal dressing. Um, this started out actually when I worked at a, um, a bakery and they had a little cafe. I actually developed this recipe for them. I'm not going to use this. And um, I've adapted it to be a healthy one because the one that I did for them was full fat mayonnaise and full fat um, buttermilk. So I already have in here one cup of light mayonnaise. Shout out to Dukes, love Dukes, um, not sponsored. <laughs> um, but they are, this is a really good mayonnaise. I like that. Their light mayonnaise better than any other light mayonnaise. I am going to use a quarter of a cup of uh, buttermilk powder. This, um, I get this at Walmart, but you can actually get it on Amazon. Somebody asked me about, um, well, the, uh, they couldn't find low fat buttermilk powder. There's only one gram of fat in um, four tablespoons of this. So this is low fat. And so this is going in there. Oops. And then I am going to add in a cup of water. So that basically makes my buttermilk. You could actually add, I like my ranch dressing to be a little bit more on the liquidy side. And so a lot of times I will just add additional um, water to it after I mix it all up. Um, let me see. Thanks for liking the plate diagram. Um, I'm a, I am a big visual person as well. Um, yeah, Yvette, yes, you can count it as a healthy fat and a condiment at the same time. Well, two different, so two table, if I did this, uh, did that last one, two tablespoons, if I did three tablespoons, I could count two tablespoons as a healthy fat and one tablespoon as a condiment because they, they qualify for that but just not at the same second. Buttermilk powder, where you find all the other dry milk, it's in the baking aisle with all that other stuff. All right, I need two tablespoons of dry parsley. And then two teaspoons each. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Dehydrated onion. I did get my spices kind of organized so that I can find things easier. A teaspoon and a half of dried chives. 
and a teaspoon of dill. The, the dill, you can, you know, it's kind of a, some people don't like dill in their ranch. I happen to like it, so you can leave that out if you want to. It's not going to really affect the count of the recipe. Half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I usually crack my black pepper as I use it, but just for time's sake here, I plug in my immersion blender. So my immersion blender, this is a really cool one. It um, has a whisk attachment, it has a mixer attachment, and then it's got the regular immersion blender attachment. So I'm gonna whisk this up. messy. And then what I'll do is just put the lid on. Now I use this mayonnaise jar because I only had, I had less than a cup of mayonnaise in this, in this jar. So I just made it a cup of mayonnaise and, um, and I'm just going to use it to store my, my ranch dressing. So that's how easy it is to make ranch dressing. It is the most delicious ranch dressing. Hang on. I dropped my little cloth. So ranch dressing made, and let's make Caesar dressing. The Caesar I'm going to make in my blender container. And the Caesar dressing is a quarter of a cup of light mayonnaise. These are, oh, not this one, this one. Somebody had actually messaged or asked me on, and you might be here, whoever it was that asked me about uh, dressings that, uh, oh, French dressing. And I, so I have been doing some Google searching because you know me, if you ask, I want to try to help you out. But any of the dressings that I found, the French dressings that I found all have some kind of a sweetener in them. So I'm not really sure. Um, the, the dressings will last quite a long time in the fridge. Um, the only one, this this is the only one that I would say has an expiration date because the yogurt would have an expiration date. This doesn't expire until March and I will eat this up long before it would expire because this is one of my favorites. Um, so I would say the other dressing, the other dressings will last, you know, for several months. This one will last probably a month. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Yvette. I love my kitchen. Um, your question about measurements. The measurements would still be the same, Ashley. It's just that you wouldn't actually, um, you would, sorry, I'm trying to multitask here. Uh, you, the counts are not going to be the same. So, you know, you could make it for somebody else to have. And it's the exact same as far as the seasonings go. Uh, it's the exact same amount of seasoning. So this is a half a cup, more or less, of Greek yogurt. No fat, fat-free Greek yogurt. Close enough. I'm trying to throw things back in the fridge as I can. Things aren't sitting out. All right, a teaspoon of minced garlic, which is most of that right there. Uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I kid you not, those of you who have made this can testify. Literally this Caesar dressing is the best dressing ever. So two tablespoons of olive oil. You could do avocado oil. I think avocado oil actually is a little higher in fat. 
than um, olive oil. Now this next thing, don't panic. Don't, don't be grossed out. But if you like Caesar dressing, then you're eating anchovies whether you know it or not. So you can buy, buy it in a box like this, the same aisle where you buy canned tuna, sardines, that kind of aisle. So it's a two, and this just goes right in your refrigerator. The only thing I use it for is this dressing, and I go through these tubes all the time. It's like the old toothpaste caps. Flip it upside down, pop, pop it open, and then, let's see. I want two teaspoons of anchovy paste. And I'm, I'm telling you, don't turn your nose up at it and say, oh, I can't do that because of the anchovy paste. You, you don't taste it, it is, and it makes the dressing so delicious, trust me. Then I want two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, Worcester Worcestershire sauce. One, two. This is also a very essential ingredient in Caesar dressing. A quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese, which is about what I've got in this bag. So I'm going to just dump that in. And a half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. And it's going to get noisy here for a second. I'm going to pop this in. Oh, I got to plug it in. I thought I unplugged it. Just a little bit of a mix because not because some of the stuff sat down at the bottom and that's all right. But what I'm going to do is just dump this into. I forgot to grab my jar. Hang on just a second. So I'm just going to pour this into my jar. And then this should also, all of the dressings need to, they need at least an hour in the fridge before you, before you consume them. So don't, don't make them right before dinner because they really do need a little bit of time to sit and for the flavors to melt. For the ranch, especially those herbs need time to, um, need time to combine. Amazing, amazing. For the Caesar dressing, two tablespoons is a healthy fat. One tablespoon is a condiment. I forgot to tell you the ranch. Actually, three tablespoons of the ranch is a healthy fat. And one tablespoon is a carb. Let me throw these in the sink. And wipe this off. And we will move on to... Seasoning mixes. And while I'm resetting, I gotta do my little reminder again, because you know, people come and people go. Um, the, the small uh, spatula, okay, first let me go back and look at these questions. Um, I got Ashley, Caesar dressing is great, thank you. Your favorite so far, Carla, good. Um, yeah, yeah, that likes my kitchen prep area. The fracker from an earlier recipe, Oh yeah, the frother is great. I use that in uh, for other things all the time. Um, Thousand Island dressing, I'll look into that because that would be a possibility. Um, you could probably use anchovy fillets. I'm not sure what the equivalent of a teaspoon would be, but you could take it and mash it. I mean, you're going to throw it in the 
food processor, the blender, so you wouldn't have to mash it up. I would probably say three or four anchovy fillets might actually do the trick for that. Um, and then the name of the small flat spatula, the, the long skinny one, I don't know what it is. It's like a jar scraper. Um, it came in, I bought a set of full size silicone spatulas and it had like a couple of these type and then it had that long skinny one. So that's, that's where that came from. Uh, all right, so we are going to do seasoning blends and we're gonna start with an all purpose seasoning. And one thing that I, I bought uh, these little glass yogurt jars from Amazon and these have all of my spices are in these little jars and they've got labels on the top. So I already went ahead and labeled this one says all purpose and let's just throw everything together here. It is going to take a tablespoon of garlic powder. My tablespoon doesn't fit in here, but a tablespoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons each of basil, and parsley. This is kind of like Mrs. Dash. So if you like the salt-free Mrs. Dash kind of stuff, that's basically what this is. I'm going to do a, a teaspoon and a quarter of thyme, one and a quarter teaspoons of oregano, and one and a quarter teaspoons of marjoram. And you know, you can kind of make this your own also if you want to leave the marjoram out, you know, you're, you're, that's not your thing. Um, and then I'm going to do a teaspoon each of mace. And if you don't know mace, mace is the outer part of the nutmeg. So it has a kind of a similar-ish um, flavor scent. It's, it's so, it's, it has a beautiful scent. I am going to do a teaspoon of onion powder. Yep, making sure that's onion and not garlic. <laughs> a teaspoon of black pepper. This is salt free, remember. And a teaspoon of sage. All of the seasoning blends that I'm showing you today are salt free. Uh, we're you know, trying to watch your sodium, so salt-free is a great way to do that. And a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, if you want to make it a little spicier, you can do that. But that goes in a jar, shake it up until it's well combined. And this is basically your um, salt-free Mrs. Dash. This is great on all kinds of meat. Throw some into uh, ground beef for uh, burgers or ground turkey. Uh, to season some meatballs or sprinkle it on some chicken um, or fish. Um, this is a delicious all-purpose seasoning. The next thing is taco seasoning. You know, we all love Taco Tuesday. I found my little jar. Um, and so this is the taco seasoning. And I'm going to start out with chili powder. And actually what I'm going to go do is turn off my vacuum cleaner, so hold tight. If I don't turn it off, it's bound and determined to come in here and, and make trouble. So I'm going to do five tablespoons of chili powder. I'm going to use my teaspoon and just three teaspoons makes a tablespoon. Four. Five. And three teaspoons of ground cumin, my favorite. I love cumin. Uh, 
Then two teaspoons each of smoked paprika. This is one I forgot to fill up. Garlic powder. Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise, hang on. This one's gonna make a little more than I thought it was gonna make. <laughs> See. And did I do the pepper already? Somebody tell me, did I do pepper already here? Because I'm about to do tea, two more teaspoons in here. Let's just do it. Okay, good. Phew. And then a teaspoon each of onion powder. I would never have fit it all in there. And cayenne pepper. So no sugar. If you look at the ingredients on a package of um, taco seasoning, you'll see a variety of things, including sugar, um, cornstarch, um, all, all kinds of things that you don't really need. I, I will try to get this transferred in here later um, now that it's all mixed together. But that is... Taco seasoning, again, you know, great with, for tacos, Taco Tuesday. Uh, fajita seasoning, very similar to the taco seasoning, um, but if you want, fajita seasoning is great on, you know, meats and veggies. So if you want to do shrimp fajitas or steak fajitas or chicken fajitas, if you just want to do fajita veggies, uh, tofu, this is a great seasoning for that. We're back to the chili powder again. Um, two tablespoons of that. I would encourage you to look at the um, ingredients and in some of the salad dressings that you're using, in some of the seasoning mixes that you're using, and really work to try to use things that are, uh, you can control the quality of those ingredients. Two teaspoons of smoked, Paprika. Garlic powder. Cumin. And onion powder. And then a teaspoon each of oregano black pepper and cayenne pepper and again you can make this spicier um, you can you can use different types of chili powder i uh, i like the ancho chili powder sometimes too i will make it that way in some of my spice mixes and um, just, find, you know, there's lots of chili powders out there, but there's some fajita seasoning. Um, again, great on meats or veggies. Cajun seasoning, this is really good if you're doing the shrimp and grits. Make your own Cajun seasoning for the shrimp. Um, it has a tablespoon of chili powder. See, how am I doing on time? Oh, good, I've got lots of time. Tablespoon of chili powder, um, a, a tablespoon of pepper, a tablespoon of garlic powder. really a, a big favorite of mine. Time is great with chicken too. And uh, smoked paprika. And 
I think this is the last time I need red pepper, but there's probably about a tablespoon in there, so we're gonna call that good. And then I need one and a half teaspoons of oregano. And a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And this is some Cajun seasoning. So uh, this would be really good on popcorn too. So like when you're in maintenance and you're making your own air popped popcorn, you can um, spritz it with a little bit of cooking spray and then put some Cajun seasoning on it and make some Cajun popcorn. That would be yummy. All right, the next one. Oh, the other thing I was going to tell you, first of all, um, thank you, Louise. Here's the, here's the deal. Um, how many teaspoons equal a package? So I think it's usually, I think the packages are usually about an ounce. And so let me tell you. We'll figure it out. Let me change this to ounces. So there's one. Ooh, a lot. Two. Three. That's a tablespoon. Four. Five. So six, so two tablespoons, which is a lot of seasoning, is seven tenths of an ounce. So I would say that, I mean, that may be what you get in a package. Um, that's, a, that's a lot. And really you are getting, if you're doing a pound of taco meat, for example, uh, you're going to probably eat a third of that. So I would say one and a half teaspoons, that's one condiment per serving. Um, if you have more condiments that you can spare, you're not going to add anything to your, you know, whatever you're doing the taco meat for. If you need more condiments, you could actually increase the amount of seasonings that you use. But I found uh, while I was on five and one that I really adjusted to having lower, like not having the salt. It took me a little while to adjust to not having things salty. Um, but the, I really began to enjoy the taste of the vegetables over all of the seasonings that I put on there. Um, Louise, I just have always done, uh, you know, made my own things and figured things out and Googled things and found recipes. So it's, it does really come naturally to me. And I realize that it does not come naturally to a lot of people. Um, so there's a lot of grace for uh, people. And I love to teach because I want other people to realize it's really not as hard or as scary as you think that it is. Um, cheeseburger soup, seven cups of raw spinach. So, well, I just use a scale and weigh it on the scale. So that's, that's the benefit of having a food scale is the, the vegetable conversion chart, which um, you can get mine's and page protectors because I get it's well used on here. Raw spinach weighs 1.06 ounces. So, you know, if you need three greens of spinach, it's 3.18 ounces of raw spinach. That's what I would do there. Hopefully that answers the question that you had. All right. Um, curry seasoning. So if you like um, curry vegetables, one thing that I really like to do with this curry seasoning my husband loves this too, is to take uh, cauliflower and cut it up into little florets and then toss it in the curry seasoning and then air fry it. And it is delicious. It's a great little side dish. Um, you can dip it in uh, that homemade ranch and uh, that makes a great little, uh, a delicious, delicious um, treat. All right. So I'm supposed to have three tablespoons of coriander and I confused my coriander for my uh, cardamom. So I don't quite have three tablespoons of coriander, but I will be making a note that I need to add two tablespoons of coriander to my mix. So just know there's three, there should be three tablespoons of coriander in there and then two tablespoons of cumin.
And um, I was also going to tell you while I was doing this, two tablespoons of turmeric. Um, I like to buy my spices from Thrive Market. Uh, they do a lot of organic spices. And I think I, that's all I've got in here is two tablespoons. I'm just going to dump that in there. Um, and there will be a link in the description box, a referral code that will give you, I think it's 50% off or 40% you know, off your first order if you're ordering from Thrive. And um, it is it is well worth it. I get my uh, collagen peptides from there. I get my supplements from there. I always buy organic spices. If you are... Um, vegan or gluten-free or like if you like they have a lot of very healthy uh, wonderful products all right a teaspoon each of dried ginger dry mustard black pepper A weird combination of flavors, but it works. Cinnamon, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And you can again adjust the cayenne depending on how hot you like things because it can be hot. And then I want a half of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes and a half of a teaspoon of cardamom. And this one is, again, a delicious uh, black curry blend. This is great on chicken. It's great on fish. It's great on vegetables. It's, uh, it's just a, a fantastic um, blend. Again, you could probably put this on popcorn as well if you um, like popcorn. Another thing that's really good is to take the low sugar ketchup and mix some of this into it and make a curry ketchup. Fantastic. All right, I have two more, I think. Two, no, I have three more. Um, ranch seasoning. I could just look at my jars and see how many jars I have left. So if you want to season uh, vegetables or chicken, you want to do like a ranch seasoned vegetables. Um, this is very easy to do. Two tablespoons of parsley. Very similar to the, the seasonings that were in the ranch dressing, but just a little bit different. Uh, two tablespoons of garlic powder. Of course, there's no buttermilk in this one. There's no mayonnaise in this one. So you could do kind of like a ranch vinaigrette if you took this and mixed it with some like lemon juice and olive oil or avocado oil. That would be really good. Um, two teaspoons. Uh, dill, again, if you want to eliminate or reduce the amount of dill, you can do that. Onion powder. And chives. And then a teaspoon of dehydrated onion or onion flakes. A teaspoon of oregano. And a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm sure glad that I ground this up and didn't try to do the pepper every time because there's a lot of pepper today. A little shake. And you know, you can take these recipes and do larger amounts of them as well. But what I would say is make these smaller amounts See how you like it. See how much you use it. And, and if you find this is something that you use all the time, then double the recipe, triple the recipe, quadruple the recipe. Make it in a big jar, you know, so that you have it. Use, you know, make what you're going to use um, and things that you like. Now, everything with the bagel seasoning um, is usually full of salt. So this is everything but the bagel seasoning minus the salt. If you would like to have salt in yours and you're not watching your sodium, um, then feel free to add salt to it. But this is going to be made without the salt. Uh, uh, Judy, I would love to do that, honestly. Um, 
Yeah, the recipes will all be in the description box below the video. So when you go to the recorded video, click where it says see more and it will open up the description box and you can see all of the recipes for everything today. All right, so this has equal parts of several things here. Is it? Oh, right. So we are going to do equal parts. And so I'm just going to um, measure in this little three cup measure because it's easier for me to do this. Uh, dehydrated onion. So I'm doing two tablespoons basically of each of these things. Dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic. And this is not garlic powder. So in gar and onion powder, it's like the little pieces of garlic that have been dehydrated. Two teaspoons of, two, I'm sorry, tablespoons, two tablespoons of black sesame seeds. Two tablespoons of poppy seeds. And two tablespoons of regular sesame seeds. If you look at the um, containers that you get from places like Trader Joe's, no shade on Trader Joe's. I love you some Trader Joe's, um, full of salt. And we don't need all of that salt. This gives you all of the flavor. So when you're looking for everything but the bagel seasoning, I just made that in like two minutes. Give it a good shake, a stir. It'll take a little bit to get those things. And every time I use this, I always give it a shake. And uh, just because things kind of settle a little bit. So that fantastic, everything but the bagel seasoning. All right, last one is pumpkin pie spice. I realized that it is now February, so we are out of pumpkin pie spice seasoning, but you have this for the fall. Let me tell you one thing that you can do with this. Um, take a little bit of this, like a quarter of a teaspoon, an eighth of a teaspoon, and sprinkle it on your coffee grounds before you make your coffee. And you have made yourself pumpkin pie spice coffee. All right, so you're welcome. This one, hang on. Where on earth? It takes a lot of cinnamon. So it is going to take a quarter of a cup of cinnamon. Which is the primary ingredient. But this is also really good for any baked goods that you do. I mean, add, if you add things to your fuelings, you know I didn't do that, but if you add things to your fuelings, a little bit of this and not um, cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake would make like a pumpkin spice. Um, you could add it to the biscuit, you could add it to the pancakes. Um, so just little ideas. Um, a tablespoon of ginger. And then a teaspoon each of, of uh, da, 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 allspice. Nutmeg. And ground cloves. And boom, pumpkin pie spice. So there you go. We did eight seasoning mixes and three salad dressings in under an hour. If I can do that, and I all I did, I, I had nothing prepared ahead of time other than the fact that I pulled, I, I pre-ground uh, my pepper, but most people have pepper that's already ground. Um, and I just pulled out all of my seasonings and made sure that I had all of the seasoning mixes, but I didn't pre-measure anything. Um, the, well, no, I should say, I, the only thing I pre-measured was that one cup of mayonnaise 
because I knew that I didn't have quite a cup in that last jar. So it's um, definitely you're able to do that. Um, thank you for doing that. Yeah, under the heading. Oh, I'm glad that was helpful to you. All right, I'm going to move this over here. So if you have questions, um, I want to answer questions for you now. We've got, I mean, I can stay as long as I need to, but um, I want to be able to answer questions for you. Before I do that, though, um, let me just give you a little reminder. If you want to get in on the drawing for the food scale or for the body scale, you will have to go to the recording of this video, as soon as we're done, the recording will get posted and you can comment with your first name, last initial and where you're from. And then in 24 hours, then you would be able to, um, I will do the drawing in 24 hours. So I was thinking of an answer to this next question. Now, which lean and green meals were good to use everything but the bagel? Um, I would do it as kind of like a side. So if I was doing like a really lean, uh, like I was having fish um, or even chicken breast, I would do like take a pepper, bell pepper, and use uh, laughing cow cheese as like my healthy fat or uh, light cream cheese as my healthy fat on the peppers and then sprinkle some of that, um, everything but the bagel seasoning on the peppers. I do that now as a snack um, on maintenance. And I absolutely love that. So um, that would definitely be something you could do. It probably would be real. I bet you could make everything but the bagel turkey burgers and uh, throw that in there, you know, a half a teaspoon per um, serving and uh, mix that up and, and fry up those uh, turkey burgers, like pan fry them or broil them and um, have everything but the bagel turkey burgers and put them on lettuce sleeves and that would be delicious. I am so glad you learned something today. That is my goal, is to make sure that people walk away having learned something good. So hopefully there is a seasoning blend that you want to try. That Caesar dressing, I kid you not, it is the bomb. Uh, the ranch dressing is great. The vinaigrette is great. I mean, I, my kids all love the ranch dressing. Everybody loves that ranch. Um, I mean, they still use it at that restaurant. So, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's obviously a good salad dressing. Or they, you, they used to use it. I don't know if they're doing salads anymore. But um, a live video on my snack. So on my, like, maintenance. Yeah, I can do that at some point too. The problem with that is I, then I have to make a bunch of things <laughs> and I can only eat one thing at a time. So, um, and I pretty much do the same, my typical, oh, by the way, I'll just do a little plug, um, on zoom on Tuesday night, I am doing a live, um, transition and maintenance. So for people who are interested in transition or maintenance, um, either from Optavia or just anything you you want to learn how to eat healthy. Um, I'm doing a live Zoom class for that on Tuesday night. Um, it will be 6 p.m. Central Time, and I will go over the entire transition process as well as maintenance and give um, some ideas. Uh, I am a creature of habit, and I do a lot of the same things for all of my feelings. I, I still call them feelings um, because it just works well for me to do the same thing. All right, if nobody else has any questions, you guys are so welcome. I am so excited that you guys came and uh, spent just an hour with me in my kitchen. That's always fun because I'm here by myself. And, and I wasn't, I had 28, 30, at one point there was 30 something people in here. So, um, and that would be a lot of people to be standing in my living room watching me over here in my kitchen, but we could do it. I, and, uh, and I would love that. So. Um, I can talk about it in the, um, in the live, um, zoom class. I can't show it because I, I don't, I mean, I, it's on my phone and I guess I could show the, my phone. I mean, I can show you right now, I guess. Um, so the app, oh, you know, you guys are way back there. Uh -huh. The app is this little purple icon right there. 
It looks like a, a water drop coming out of two concentric circles. It's spelled P-R-O-S-P-R-E. And this is what, like, this is what my yesterday, I, I don't know that you can even see that. It's what my yesterday looked like. Um, and what I do is I click on, so for today, if I go to today, um, actually, let me go to tomorrow because nothing's there. So you can see that it has, Nothing is there, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And if I click on add food, then I, these are all the things that I commonly eat. I can select from that or up at the top, I can click on the food that I can type in what I want and it will find that. And then at the top of the page then, it shows, you can see the number of calories I've eaten versus, the, and then I can click on planned if I plan ahead. And, um, and then I can look at each meal to see the macros that I had for each meal. It is called Prosper, P-R-O-S-P-R-E. And um, that is, that's the app that I use. Um, this is the brand of buttermilk that I use, Seiko, S-A-C-O, the Seiko Pantry. And I get this, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it. I get it at Kroger or Walmart. They sell it in the aisle where you buy your um, dry milk, baking, the base, basically the baking aisle. Let's see. So the Zoom, the link to the Zoom has been posted in um, Facebook. So if you're in the Facebook groups, if you're not in the Facebook groups, then email me and I will, my email is in the description box. Um, you can email me and I will send you a link to the Zoom on Tuesday. Anybody else have anything? I am so thirsty. I didn't drink while I was talking. All right. I don't see any other questions coming up. You can always reach out to me. You've got my email address. I'm happy to talk to anybody at any time. Message me on Facebook. Um, I'll add you as French. I add, and then I end up with these crazies that, um, you know, want, want, yeah, and anyway, they, they don't last very long as my friends. But uh, anyway, I really appreciate you coming and spending the afternoon with me. And as I always say, until I see you next time, please live in the light. Bye, guys. I need some outro music. I'm going to get a second look at my disastrous house. Bye, guys.